Welcome to Radical Academy. My name is Mike, and uh, in this video, we'll be looking at uh, composite functions in mathematics. Uh, this is a uh, good living way. So, and uh, it's a continuation. Yeah, so there is a video that was uh, released uh, over the introduction of uh, what is a function and everything. I also did uh, perform some of the examples about uh, over the same uh, functions. So now, today's video will be about um, introduction to what is a composite function and also we'll see how you can just really understand what is indeed the co uh, composite function. So if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. If you're watching from YouTube, make sure you smash the subscription button as well as uh, you know the like button so that whenever I update something like this, you'll be the first person to be notified. And also for those who are watching from uh, Facebook, please ensure that uh, you like the page and follow this page, uh, Learn with uh, Mike Warrior, so that whenever I also upload on Facebook, you'll be the first person to be notified and all the uh, updates, you'll be the first person to be notified. Okay, so now, welcome once more again to this uh, video about composite function. So, uh, a composite function is simply, uh, it is composed into some other function, okay? So, there is nothing that is really difficult about understanding what is a composite function, right? Now, if we understand the word uh, composite, then uh, just a matter of time that we know what is it that we are looking at, okay? So, composite means that uh, you have two functions, okay? And normally, uh, this function, uh, most of the common function that comes in the final exam is just uh, a function called the function such as um, okay. Now those are the major cons. I mean, the major types of uh, functions that you'd find in the final exam. Okay, but of course, I'm not saying that these are the only, uh, you know, kind of uh, reference uh, letters that can be used. But of course, um, these are the main, uh, common ones, okay? So just bear in mind that these are the common types of functions that the examiner would like to bring. And also, including H is also, okay? So they also like uh, bringing H. Now, how do you pronounce these functions, okay? So this is F of X, uh, G of X, and then H of X. And that's how you just get to pronounce the functions. Now. Now, that is not our main focus. Uh, uh, our main focus is now just to understand you are given two functions now, and then you are told to find the composite of one function that is embedded in another function, okay? So I want you to understand that composite function, they just really mean that you have got a function which is now inside another function, okay? That's all you have to understand about the composite function, okay? So what we mean by that, so we're saying that a composite function, uh, this is the function that is composed into another function and can be evaluated at some instances of values of x, okay? For instance,
Okay. Again, when you look at the example below, we are saying that uh, g of x equals to x minus 1 and then f of x equals to x squared minus 3. So remember that in the composite function, you are always given two functions and then you have to find now the combination of those two uh, composite functions that you are given. So let us ensure that uh, and bear in our mind that uh, a composite function is a function or rather consists of two functions. Okay, so that's the main thing that I want you to understand so that um, as we now uh, see how we can be able to solve the composite function, then you can now really understand um, the, in the actual sense what is a composite function. Okay, so we are going to have uh, two examples. I'll kind of uh, solve this one as well as uh, another uh, composite function. Okay, now before we get to the question, uh, when you are looking at also a composite function, there is a way in which uh, it is represented and uh, if we know how to pronounce the representation of the uh, composite function, then that's going to be so good and nice because it's different the way we are calling these are normal functions, okay? The composite function is a combination in one thing, okay? In just one thing, embedded in one thing, okay? So you've got to learn how to pronounce uh, that, uh, you know, the whole thing of uh, the composite function, right? So... For single uh, functions, we are just saying that uh, g of x equals to x minus 1, f of x equals to x squared minus 3. Okay, those are the things that we're supposed to understand. Okay, now, Um, what is now uh, the representation of um, a composite function? How can I just learn or how do I represent a, in, in form of a subject of a formula like some kind of a, you know, uh, a representation of form, okay? So a representation of form is that uh, you can say that um, you have f that and then that and then that okay okay now when you look at this one uh, when you look at this one okay um, we are saying that um, we are saying that f okay so f circles a g of x okay or g is the function okay that is composed in the another function f so it's more like you've got the function of f and then you want to evaluate the composite of uh, this function at some instances of um, g of um, x so you might have even have a value that at some point the value of x within the function g Okay, so now I just want to take you in a simple path so that you really understand the whole uh, about uh, the whole thing about functions. So please just uh, you know make sure you've got a pen and paper so that you are following so nicely. Okay, now. You can also say f, so this is a red as in, we can call it in, f circle g, okay, of x. So this is the way you pronounce um, uh, this uh, composite function. This is how you can read it out, okay? This is how you can read a composite function f circles g of x okay 
but the other representation way you can also say o f okay so you can have uh, something like f of g of x okay so something like that okay so g is the function okay g is the function that is composed in this uh, the bigger picture which is the f function okay so we need to evaluate the function of f at some instance of the function of g and that's what it, it simply means when you talk about um i mean when you talk about uh, this the whole thing about uh, composite function okay now from there now we can have um, we can now solve this So let us now solve the these um, uh, the example there. Okay. So f of x equals to x squared minus 3 and g of x equals to x minus 1. Okay. Now if you want if you want to solve this um, a function so nice and uh, properly what I would encourage you is first of all to understand what I'm going to tell you, okay? Is that um, when they say you are seeing this uh, f and then we got the g and then of x, okay? So now g of x is a function inside the f, okay? So which is also, of course, f is also another function, okay? So please understand that. Now if you have understand that, we can now begin to Okay. We can now also begin to say Um, so F circles G okay, of X will be equal to what you are now going to do is you are going to uh, write this function F okay you write this function F so when you write the function F X squared minus 3 okay now x squared minus 3 and then what you do is you get now this the function g and then substitute that function into f where there is x okay so the g function is this one it is x minus 1 so we are going to get the x minus 1 and then put it where there is x in the um, in this uh, function, so we are going to say we are going to say uh, this x minus one open bracket. Remember, there is a squared there minus three. So this is going to be x minus one, and then x minus one minus three. So this is going to be this times that. Okay, so this times that. We just do that minus three. Okay.
Okay, so I'm gonna solve on the other side. So x So I've got x and then you get that. Then negative 1 you get that. So minus 3. So this times that x squared, this times that x, and this x that x1 minus 3. So this negative 2x plus 1 minus 3. Then this x squared. So therefore, f circle is g equals to x squared minus 2x plus 1. This is going to evaluate to minus 2. Okay. So that's how you can just... Uh, uh, find uh, the value of um, that composite function. Now, remember, if you try to reverse the composite function, they will not give you the same answer as this one, okay? So, it doesn't mean that uh, when you start with G and then compose F, then it would give you the same ones if we started with uh, F and then, I mean, started with F and then compose a G of X. So, not, not that, f of g f of g is not equal to g circles okay so make sure that uh, you get this point of um, understanding that um, this compose um, g of s composing f is not the same as f uh, uh composed in g okay so that will give us a uh, different answer so i hope and believe that you have gotten one or two uh three things about uh, composite function now one more to go so for another example Okay.
Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, what is going to happen is that um, we are looking at this uh, given that f of x equals to 2x minus 1 and g of x equals to that. Now, if g of x equals to x squared minus 3, find g of negative 1. Now, uh, if some of you are watching this for the first time and uh, you can't conceptualize what is going on, I encourage you to go. Um, I did a video, I go to YouTube and search for my video. Uh, the YouTube name is uh, Radical Academy. Okay, you'll be able to find the video, uh, just search for functions and then you'll be able to see uh, some of the basics about, or rather, the introduction about uh, uh, functions. Okay, now uh, we need to find g of uh, negative one as well as also the composite function, uh, which is that f circles g of x or f of g of x and the f uh, circles g at an instant of one, negative one. Okay, so this is going to be g of x equals to x squared minus 3 okay so g negative 1 equals to negative 1 minus 3 uh, squared now negative 1 squared this is going to be just 1 minus 3 which is just going to be negative 2 